Hi and welcome back. Um, if you are new to my channel, my name is Stephanie and I freaking love makeup eyeshadow in particular. And I got tagged by the lovely, I think it's called pronounced Danny Bow. Danny Bow? Danny Bow. I don't know. This is her. Um, she's really, really super cute and I didn't even know that she had a channel until recently when, um, like I was going through my comments and she always comments the sweetest things. And I clicked on like her little picture and it popped to her channel. I was like, oh, oh my goodness. I love her. She's really sweet. Anyway, she did the tag my makeup style and she tagged me in it. So I am going to read the questions and just do this makeup tag. I like it. I haven't seen a tag going around for a while. And I finally have some downtime. The first question is, what kind of eye primer do you use and why? Is it a liquid eye primer or a shadow stick? Um, I go kind of crazy with my eye primer. I mean, not really. It's a two-step process, though. Um, I use, right now, MAC Prep and Prime. I really, really like this. Um, the consistency of it is similar to Smashbox ones, the Lorac behind the scenes, basically any, like, just typical primer. And then because I have like veins and stuff on my eyelids, I like to set this with Painterly by MAC. Um, this is just a really good match for my skin tone and these two together, I think are amazing for setting my eye primer. Sometimes I will use a shadow stick, like I'm trying to pan two of them right now, um, but those aren't necessarily what I would put all over my lid those I like more on my lower lash line. Two, what color eyeshadow makes you feel bold and pretty at the same time? I'm gonna say purple. I'm currently like really super obsessed with purple eyeshadows. Um, like any shade of purple too, from light like I'm wearing today, um, this is from the Lila palette, or like the really bright purples. I freaking love purple eyeshadow. Um, question 2B says, what eyeshadow color do you least like to wear and why? And I would have to say it's like the minty teal colors because it I just feel like it's just kind of awkward on my skin tone. I don't know. I used to really, really love teal aqua eyeshadows. And now I just don't. I don't. I would like to figure out how to do like a black smoky eye. Um, that's something that I do want to figure out how to wear and make it look not super crazy. Three, do you wear liquid or pencil eyeliner? A little bit of both. Sometimes I'll wear a liquid liner, like if I feel the need, but pencil eyeliners are my jam. I love colored eye pencils. Um, my favorites are the ColourPop ones, but they've discontinued a lot of their shades. And I'm so sad about that. But my other favorites are Urban Decay. I really, really like their eye pencils. I think they're they're great. And they have some really good colors. Um, black or brown, it's asking. I do both. It just depends on what my mood is. But right now I'm trying to use up some of these colored ones. So I haven't really worn black or brown eye pencil lately. Mm, I don't know. It's just kind of... I like the cohesiveness of using colored eye pencils. Four, CoverGirl or Maybelline Mascara? It says, come on, you know you're one way or the other. I actually like, I think CoverGirl Mascara is better. Hang on. I have this CoverGirl one in my back stash. I need to use it, but this Clump Crusher is probably my favorite drugstore mascara, and I just, I kind of like these rubbery bristles, but only on the CoverGirl mascaras on like any other mascara I like um those soft bristle brushes but I'm covergirl Maybelline ones are I tend to go for the covergirl plus they're a little bit cheaper um number five if you could have your brows permanently done or not wear any blush for the rest of your life which would you choose I would choose to have my brows permanently done I'm always mad at my eyebrows and I won't ever give up blush I adore blush. Um, but my eyebrows are always like different. I've thought about getting them microbladed, but that that's a big commitment. Big commitment. But blush, oh, I am never going to give up blush. I love blush. Uh, does your breast, breast, <laughs> 
does your best friend or you wear more makeup? So in reality, I don't have a best friend like in real life. Um, I don't have anybody that I, I hang out with. If I'm thinking, I worked with a girl who loved highlighter and that was the first thing I noticed about her was her highlighter. And then I do work with another girl who wears highlighter and um, so we talk about makeup a little bit, but I think out of everybody I know in real life, I wear the most makeup. Like, I am, I am a true makeup addict and it's just something that I truly love. Um, my best friends, I would say like on YouTube, between Elle from LS and Emily from Co Emily Coffee and Concealer, I wear more makeup than Emily, but I don't think I wear more than Elle which is kind of funny. So I'm like kind of in the middle and I do kind of, I do, I do wear a lot of makeup, especially in real life. And I'm a substitute teacher and um, I go in with like full face, full face of makeup every day. The couple of days that I've gone in, like whenever I was doing PE teacher or something, um, the kids would be like, are you okay? Like, are you sick? And then one time I was doing like the noon duty and I've worked at the school for five years and one of the noon duties who I've known for five years, like I had my little hat on and I didn't have any makeup on. She came up to me and introduced herself. She's like, hi, my name is so-and-so. What's your name? I'm like, it's me, Stephanie. So I just kind of played along with it. I was like, yeah, my name's Stephanie. She's like, thanks so much for helping out today. I'm like, do I look that different without any makeup? It was, whole, it was, it was, it was kind of funny. It was really so yeah, I wear a lot of makeup. Who taught you how to do makeup? I'm going to say my mom. Um, my mom, she would do my makeup for um, like school dances and stuff. And then as I got older, I just experimented and it probably wasn't the greatest makeup in the world. And then I discovered YouTube from an old friend of mine. Um, she was... I was asking her something. She's like, go on YouTube. They have all sorts of tutorials. And then I found X Sparkage and her makeup tutorials like just blew my mind. But over the years, it's been mostly watching YouTube tutorials and then just playing with my face and seeing what I could do. And so kind of a mixture of everything. Number eight, are you a fan of cream products like blush, bronzer, contour? I I tried to use the Fenty um, cream contour and highlight stick and they didn't work out. I've a little bit played with the Urban Decay, I think it's called the Shape Shifter Palette. Um, it's, it's actually my daughter's. She doesn't even use it and I want to steal it from her. So I've never really tried it. I don't know if it's supposed to go underneath foundation or on top of foundation and that's what I haven't quite figured out because I've seen people do it both ways. Um, but I don't have any cream contour products or highlight anything in, in my in my stash. So I don't know if I'm a fan of it. I would like to think that I'd be able to do it one day, but I don't know, we'll see. Am I a project panner? And what projects am I in right now? If you're watching me, it's probably because you've come to my channel from project panning. So yes, I've been panning, I think for about three years. Um, I started putting my panning projects on YouTube two and a half years ago and I love it. I'm addicted. It has helped me so much. Um, right now I am doing 18 and 2018. That is a year long kind of rolling project. And then I am doing a back to Mac project with Emily and Elle, whose channels are linked down below. Um, so those are the only two that I have going on right now. I will be doing a summer seasonal project called that I started a few years ago, a few years ago called Seven Summer Flings. And as of right now, that's all I have going on. Once I get like the ball rolling on my back to back one and the 18 and 2018, then I'll be probably looking for a spring seasonal project. Yeah. Project panning is everything. I'm quite hooked on it. Setting spray. Do you believe in it? Which is your holy grail? I do like setting spray. The only one I have is the Urban Decay All Nighter. Guys. This one. 
um, and it's in the old bottle. I really like it. I don't know if this one's going bad because it's old. <laughs> I think I might need a new like updated bottle because even if I do use it, I'm still kind of oily, which is really weird because it's winter and I've never been like oily before in the winter. I'm usually so dry, but this winter I've been so oily. So I've been using this. Um, honestly, it's the only setting spray that I've ever even tried. So I don't know if it's Holy Grail, but it's the one that I keep buying. Yeah, I do. I do like setting sprays though. I think it helps, especially in the summer, dude. In the summer, that stuff is amazing. Um, those were the 10 questions. I'm going to have those questions linked down below. Thank you to Danny Bo for tagging me in this. I really enjoy your channel. Um, her channel, Emily's and L's that I mentioned are going to be linked down below. Um, yes, I like tags. I'm going to tag people down in the description box. Look for your name because right now I'm kind of brain dead. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Please let me know if you're going to do this tag and I will come watch your video. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.